<laughs> Hello, guys. Hey, guys. Welcome to the the uh, 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 short post. Uh, 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 uh. My dog started barking because of that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, uh, Gavin, can you show us what you got? I think we could actually made it. I think I'm gonna blur that. <laughs> um, we got a uh, Gavin who's telling me he's sitting here. He's like, you know, Manny, how you uh, sometimes come in my house and shoot me with my airsoft guns. Gavin said. Wait, where's the other one? Gavin the said. Other uh, Gavin said, Manny, you can't shoot me with this one. This can kill a boar. Oh, and my immediate, my immediate this response is. This is the one that he shot at me. This was the this was the airsoft gun that he and he that he shot at me. And it hurt like a son of a bitch. It's not safe to shoot at people because of the rounds that it has. All these are these are just suggestions, Gavin. Yeah, all safety warnings are safety suggestions. This exactly. one, though, this and one's hefty. Listen, hefty, really, how much PSI can I shoot you with? Can I shoot it with? Yeah, how much? How much on, damage? Uh, how much damage? Can I one pump you? <laughs> can I one pump you, Gavin? What's the recoil like on this? Yeah, is it is it a high recoil, man? What's the damage stat? Your mother. I don't know. Oh yeah, I guess we should also address this. We have face cam podcasts now. Yeah, face cam podcasts. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we yeah. have our faces. Totally. Totally. And then we have many. I'll just make like a new drawing. That's just him at the table with coffee. Oh, you want me to uh, make something for you? I can probably do it. Okay. Good boy. Listen to Papa. I'm going to brutally touch you. I've been just sitting here, right? And we and I, we've been it's been like 3 weeks since we've recorded a podcast. And so I'm That's sitting That's not an airsoft gun. It's a gun. What? It's a revolver. <laughs> I looked up I looked up airsoft guns and it says and and it pulled up a, a fucking revolver with rounds next to it. <laughs> That's not an airsoft gun. That's an airsoft gun. Let me shoot you with it. Let me shoot you with the airsoft. The airsoft gun. You should buy a 50 caliber, right? And you should let me shoot you dead in the face if you move your pussy. If you if you move <laughs> if you move, we castrate you with the 50. I cal. shoot him in the head. It blows up. Gavin, you moved, man. He's fucking. He's just fucking dead on the ground. He's, dude, he's, he's, um, his head is missed, and we're like, Gavin. Buddy. Why did you send Ar Why did you send Arthur in the um in the the VC? What? Yeah, from Fire Force. Oh, that's the guy who's uh, who, who I based the eyes off of. The guys I've been drawing. Oh. Um. Well, this airsoft gun. It's a it's a it's a point three five seven caliber air rifle. Nice. Dum dum dum. That's right. an actual calibered gun. I know. You're just holding it. You're, we should shoot Gavin with it for a million subscribers. What? <laughs> a million That'd subscribers. Be fun. If we reach a million subscribers by the end of this summer, we'll shoot Gavin, and I'll actually do it. I will actually shoot Gavin. No, I'm not shooting you with a thing because you're gonna come into my fucking house. I'm gonna just shoot at you. <laughs> if 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 we no no you won't fucking hear me. If we if, if we get a million subscribers by the end of the summer, we'll shoot Gavin on the podcast and we'll. Actually I cannot use any of this footage. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's incriminating. <laughs> <laughs> no, use it, use it. I'm not gonna. I'm. I'm I probably won't do it. Probably. I won't do it. Probably. A oh, pinky bro. claw. Pinky. <laughs> Fingers crossed and shit. <laughs> Gavin's gonna sit there home defense, dude. He's gonna s Dude, Gavin's gonna be holding a crazy angle. I'm gonna be above him already, dude. He's gonna be sitting there. He's gonna be fucking- I'm gonna hollow purple him in his house. He's not gonna know how I did it or when- how I was able to pull it off, but I'll teleport behind him. Murasaki. And then he'll sit there, turn around slowly, appled like Choji. Could you imagine if I just accidentally blew my fucking camera? Just I just <laughs> <laughs> You blow you your camera is just destroyed. And we're sitting there in the podcast and we're like What happened? What the fuck are you doing? 
No, yeah, I'm gonna- what I'm doing is because of, like, the instances that I've had where I thought somebody broke into my house, instead of walking around with it, like, like that one podcast episode. In yeah. the episode <laughs> that last it. episode? That one, and then that last episode that we did for the podcast, if you uh-huh. haven't watched it, go watch it. Um, but I thought somebody broke into my fucking house. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna use this. I'm just, I'm just gonna load this and walk around my house. <laughs> Dude, I'll shoot somebody's balls off with this fucking thing, dude. <laughs> so yeah, this is just gonna go up on my desk. I'm gonna need to draw like a gunslinger Gavin for the thumbnail. Hold on, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go turn my fan on. You my bitch! Fan on. Do this before the. Re- I'm gonna still be here. I'm still talking. Jesus! Are you peeking your shit? We have a mask on. <laughs> Daddy, don't cut that out. <laughs> I'm not. I'm going to zoom in on it. <laughs> good, good job, buddy. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. That little ass. I'm going to track it. I'll reward you with only two lashings instead of five. Yes, you're gonna master. Zoom in. You're going to zoom in on me brutally fucking my microphone? Yes. Uh, you're standing on your chair and fucking your mic. Guys, I'm going to tell you about this fucking experience I had at my job, okay? So I work at, I work at Manny. Can you just, like, put, like, a sensor bar when I say this? When I say this? Maybe. Okay. I'm leaving it in. Fuck you. You can't. <laughs> I, I gave an actual workplace. And my job you is... Work. I'm a janitor. I'm basically a janitor. But I also sometimes... I go into tubes, like the tube areas, and I tell people... I either put, like, I stack tubes in front of it, or I tell people, don't fucking put the tube there. Put the tube in the tube area over there. Right? And so... I was working at the telling people don't fucking put their tubes there, right? So I'd tell people, hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the ride. Uh, just a little quick reminder that when you put the when you when you leave with your tubes, do not leave them in front of the ride and put them in the tube shirt over that way. People will be like, okay, sir. They'll go down that way, 50 feet, and then they'll leave the tubes on the sidewalk. <laughs> and I'll sit there and I'll be like, really? And so these people, these people, right? One of the people in the dark blue shirts, which was like the managers, she came up to me and she said, hey, can you move these over to the uh, tube chute? And I was like, okay. And I moved him, right? And I wasn't there to tell the people to not put the tubes in front of the ride. So after I was finished moving all these fucking tubes, I go back to where I'm stationed. I look in front of the ride. At least 50 tubes are sitting at the front of it. <laughs> And I'm sitting there and I start hyperventilating because I, you know, it's like 50 feet within within the tube, the front of the ride, and then the tube chute. And so I'm going to have to do that maybe 10 times carrying these fucking big ass tubes on my arm. And I can only move maybe two or three at a time. Just get better. Fuck you, Gavin. You, yeah, you don't, you, you don't you do much, this shit. You sit in Mr. Gaddy's all day long at the game stand. Yeah, I'm sitting there outside at the 110 degree weather, moving tubes forward and backwards and getting blisters on my feet because I'm standing in water. You know what? That ain't that bad. You're Mexican. And you dude, and you edit videos I mean, in your house all day because that's your job. I, dude, if you, do you good, don't know half the shit jobs I've done. Like, uh, And yeah. I've gotten paid nothing. I've stained porches. I have clean gutters. I've had to build dog cages for people. I've had to clean up dog shit from goddamn I'll add, dog I'll, care centers. I'll give you 14 more lashings if you keep talking. <laughs> Editor boy. Bro, you're complaining about like a good Wednesday night to me. That ain't that bad. Manny, you, you, when was the last time you did one of those jobs? Uh, About a week ago. What? It's not that bad. I do that every. I do one of those every week. Yeah, they're not bad jobs. They're easy. It's just physical labor. Nothing hard about it. Can you, uh, Gavin, turn your fucking camera on again? I'm eating a pop tart. Leave me alone. Motherfucker, then go out of frame to eat it. (laughs) Also, we need to be like more family friendly. Like a big thing is. (laughs) I'll show you. I'll show you family friendly. Gavin, I'll shoot you with my. I think my dick can fit in that. Hold up. Manny, <laughs> stop talking about- <laughs> No, what you gotta do, Manny, during that part, you gotta insert an explosion just over Jacob. 
<laughs> Guys, hold on. I can't so, use that actually. On the last day of of school, right? I went. I was. It was me and my mom because I didn't have any. I didn't have final uh, final exams for that day. So it was me and my mom. We went out. And we uh, we went to eat tacos, and we're like, oh, yeah, they love, we love tacos. And on the way, we were listening to uh, the podcast, and I swear to God, I was talking about like some random shit. And man, it was like, you think we could fuck that? And my mom, my mom was breaking into, was going into the taco shop, and, and when she was driving in, she turned around and she was like. And she looked at me. And I was like, hey, I can't control what he says. And then I said the same shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sitting there and my mom's like, Jacob, what the fuck are you talking about online and publishing? And I said, content. I, no, I said my opinions, mother. And, 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 and then when we ate and we were eating, we watched the Terraria video that we uploaded recently. If you haven't seen that video, you should go watch it, and I'll link it in the description. <sighs> and so... <laughs> and so we were watching that, and then like halfway through, Manny was sitting here, and he talked about... What was it? Go, uh, Gorlock the Destroyer. <laughs> and then he was sitting there, and he's like, you can't believe, Can you believe Gorlock the Destroyer has 15 holes? And I was like... <laughs> Wait a minute there, buddy. I don't think... I don't think that's true. And he was like, oh, yeah, you know, because, like, the bigger someone gets, the... No, I just said, you know, that they have more entryways. Just more things to fuck. And then you looked around and you are like, crazy weather would happen. <laughs> yeah, I mean... And then I was sitting there like, Manny, you fucking idiot. And he is never... He's not explained it to me yet. And it's been so fucking long, okay? It's been, like... Two, three weeks. And I mean, he's, he's been sitting there like. Hey, Manny, you should explain it to me later. I'm just saying that Gore like the Shore has more holes. Like, there's more entryways, you know? How? <laughs> so, anyway, uh, yeah, Teddy got hacked a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he did! <laughs> Teddy got hacked. This is a real thing that happened. Teddy got hacked. And yeah. so I was sitting, so we were sitting there, and then we were playing Fortnite when the new season came out. Yeah, and Teddy for told a little bit. Me, <laughs> Teddy was telling, wait, wait, hold on. For context, um. Wait, can I, Gavin, what did you just do? Did you just burn one of your hair? No, whenever I aim this, I, okay, so when I do this, nothing happens. When I aim this at my monitor, it cuts off and goes black. <laughs> <laughs> you have an EMP, bro. <laughs> you use your fucking EMP grenade. You have a directional what EMP I, gun. What if I aim it at my PC? Aim it at, aim it, it. Aim it at your webcam. Your monitor just turned off. What's your monitor turned yeah, off? My monitor. My. Kevin, <laughs> <laughs> you have a fucking EMP. Aim it directly at your fucking webcam and and, and press it. <laughs> he just catches on fire when he does that. <laughs> on the podcast, he gets permanent burn scars. Yeah. Nah, it doesn't happen. Whenever I do that, it cuts out my monitors, but it doesn't when I do that. Huh. Interesting. Anyways, back to the Teddy hack. Oh, so, yeah. Other than my EMP over here. Jesus. <laughs> and so we're sitting, so we're playing Fortnite, and then my friend, uh, my girlfriend's cousin got hacked recent, that, before then. And mm -hmm. then my girlfriend's cousin, who Teddy well knew was had a hacked account, messaged Teddy, Hey, you want to test play my game? That wasn't him. That wasn't my girlfriend's cousin. It was the guy. And so Teddy was like, okay. He clicked the link and it downloaded a rat onto his computer and stole every single one of his passwords and account logins and just sat there and was like, yeah, pay me 30 bucks and I'll, and I'll get rid of it. <laughs> and I'm, and I'm no, I'm, okay. Come on, man. Quick thing. $30? $30? That's nothing to Teddy. That's that's like, dude, 
That's like a it's like a sperm cell in in a in a gal and a cum. Okay, there's no way that's gonna make a dent in all the money Teddy has. Two, Teddy just didn't pay him. <laughs> Teddy just trolled him. Teddy the whole decided time. to fuck with him the entire time. Don't ask me why. I have no idea funny, why. Though. It was hilarious. He sent us all the screenshots. But dude, Teddy was just fucking stupid. That's just like the stupidest thing I think anyone has ever done while they got hacked. Gavin, do you have anything to talk about? I I, I, I I've been rambling on for fifteen minutes. Since we haven't talked to this on the pod or in any of the gaming videos we uploaded, we are now on Spotify. Oh! Yeah, so we have audio listeners now. You know, if you are too busy to watch the videos, you can listen on the go now. Yeah. So we'll put it in the description. Make sure to go check that out if, you know, you want to listen to us on the go and shit. Or if you want to go to bed to our sexy voices. Yeah. And Jacob's hot, we'll, voluptuous we'll, lips we'll clapping. Do. We'll do. We'll, uh, we'll make a nighttime edition. <laughs> we should we should do that. We should we should make pod we should make like Spotify specific episodes. Like we don't upload them on YouTube, but we'll upload them on Spotify. Late night uh boy storytelling. Yeah. We just read stories. Yeah. We need to go on some adventures first, man. <laughs> well, oh yeah, hold on. You know, Many... No 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 Hold on, hold on. Sneak peek. What we'll do. This is gonna be a ad read for the Spotify listeners. What we'll do is at the end of summer, after all our stupid adventures that we go on separately or together, we will tell them in a two two hours, two hour long episode. Two two, two hour, two 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 two, two hours, huh? We'll have, yeah. we'll, have a, we'll have a two hour long episode. <laughs> yeah, two hours. Sorry, Manny. <laughs> and we'll post it at the end of summer. For the audio listeners, yes, and in in the monthly or not monthly in the weekly videos, after our adventures, we will talk about them obviously for YouTube and podcast or for YouTube and uh, Spotify, but we'll have like a compiled all of them into one episode. Oh, like a compilation. Yeah, 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 like a compilation of all of our stories. Oh, okay. Is there something behind my TV? Yeah, it's me. Yeah, it's me. You should have moved. Oh, this is glare off my TV. That was tripping me out. <laughs> but Gavin, yeah. when he learns how light works. We, Gavin, we when he probably, sees photons. Um, we have been trying to do new stuff with the pod. Uh, we just started if uploading you want to sponsor us, gaming. If you're, if you're a big corporation that has a lot of money that wants to sponsor us. That's not gonna happen. But I don't think people are gonna please. give us money, Gavin. Do you know what, it, what yeah. the first couple episodes sounded like? It <clears> sounded like <throat> shit, piss, fuck yeah, fuck piss, shit. Yeah, fuck, man, let's go holes. get it. Yeah, fucking holes. Uh, no one's gonna, no one's gonna sponsor us. No one's gonna give us. It's money. so funny because the first episode is so bad, and then second one is the deepest conversation. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, second one is also pretty bad in the start, and then we're like, yeah, we just lock Jesus. in and get serious. We're like, <laughs> Jesus, Jesus. love that guy, huh? So, uh, yeah, we uh, we 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 might Jesus. Be, uh, be a fan of that when, guy, you know? When's he coming back, huh? Yeah, you know. Yeah. What's the sequel? <laughs> Bible the two, the return Bible of the Christ. Th that's <laughs> that's like the worst thing that's gonna happen to the earth, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you know that. The return. The return. And the, the, and Judgment the, day. The return, and then one third of the oceans filled with blood, and one third of all sea creatures die, and then yeah. all the and seven angels come down from heaven and slaughter all the humans who haven't given their life to Christ. Let's go. But yeah. Like uh, what? No, I don't. I don't. No, I, I know don't. What you did about that helicopter? Oh Kevin. yeah. Guys. I, we, we have a couple we have a couple like subscriber things if we hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the summer Manny will will uh, get a haircut no I said a tattoo oh yeah a tattoo of the short bus key of something that I draw something that I draw on him where and I choose I will do this too that's for him if we have any like comments and subscribers by then the highest liked comment I will get tattooed 
Yeah, I'll, I'll draw and we'll get him tattooed. Or you just yeah. like, tattoo the actual, like, physical picture of the comment on you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, but I think it was at 30k, Gavin said he would go bald. Yeah. No, no. I said it, if we're at 1 million. No, you said, you said 30, 30. No, you said 30. No, you, you said, said 30. 30. You said no, 30. I'll explain. I will explain the 30 in a second. <laughs> I said in the year 2030, if we have a million subscribers or followers on any platform, minus Instagram and TikTok. Why, why minus Instagram and TikTok? Because it's too easy to get it's too easy to get followers there. No, no it's no. not. It's really hard on Instagram. Fine, on it will include Instagram, not TikTok though. I got like 200 followers on TikTok in like two days. Yeah, it's pretty dead. I will shave my head by the year. It has to be by the year 2030. If we have, more, you don't have to. You don't get to approve of this. Um, <laughs> this is the deal I made a while ago. We're just talking to his demons or. Dude, he's talking to the fucking <laughs> demons in his head. You don't have to. You don't have a say. You don't have a choice. So by the year 2030, if we have over a million followers or subscribers, I'll do it. I'll shave my head bald. So not 30k. By the year 2030. Pussy. My hair. It's my whole being, man. Come on now. Anyways, boys, get us to a million, please. I want to see Gavin bald. <laughs> Yeah, um, I'll take pictures of it. Yeah. I'll get it polished. <gasps> Dude, waxing it so it doesn't grow back? Dude! <laughs> he should <laughs> wax his <laughs> hair! We should do that! We should do that! <laughs> we should get him to wax his hair! Uh, what do I do? There's a, there's a, there's a large probability that if I go bald, my girlfriend will leave me. Yeah. Then she doesn't love you. <laughs> the sad nod. Don't cut that out. <laughs> Don't cut I'm that I'm leaving out. it. I'm leaving it. I'm zooming in. I'm kidding. But, um... Yeah, so mine's at 10k, so mine's a little bit more closer. His is far into the future. Let's have you as the midpoint of what you would do. Me? Yeah. Uh, wax your nuts for, for uh... <laughs> I'll, ra I'll wax my groin. Yeah, I'll wax my not my nuts, my groin. No, your nuts. I'm not <laughs> waxing my nuts. I will personally wax his nuts. No, well, you will not. I do not trust you to wax my nuts, Gavin. I've waxed body. I parts have very before. delicate hands. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. That's just a lie, Gavin. They call me Butterfingers. <laughs> Be how slippery I am. They call you butter fingers because of how if easily you slip your fingers into people. Okay, that's why they call you that. <laughs> Defund the IRS. Nice. But yeah. Um... Okay, can I can I make something? Can I state something real quick? Sure. Sure. I've always shit my pants like three times in this <laughs> recording. Dude, you should do that, and then we should frame it. Yeah, you should shit your pants, turn around, and show us the shit stain while standing the skid up. mark? <laughs> Wait, have I told the story how I shit my pants when I got fired no, from my job? Okay. you haven't. Okay, so the day I got fired from my job, right, I was I was sitting there. Bad day already, you know, because I got, I got fired. I go home, and I'm talking with my friends. Was I talking with you guys? Mm -mm. You're right. You were in your kitchen. No, I wasn't. I was sitting on this desk. At oh, this yeah, chair. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was sitting on this chair, and I think I was playing like Terraria or something. And I farted, and it felt a little wet. But I was like, oh, it's probably nothing. And so I'm sitting there. 15 minutes goes by. I fart again. I feel this one. It's a fucking big one. It comes right shooting out my asshole like a grape shot in a cannon. And I'm sitting there like, oh. and so I, I go run to my bathroom, fucking plop my pants down. Shit rolls out of my underwear. And I'm sitting there like, no! <laughs> <laughs> and and I'm sitting there, and, and uh, let me tell you the fucking horrified expression I had when I went to the toilet, tried to shit, and nothing came out. Nothing came out. So I, sh I emptied my entire bowels in my underwear, and I do not know what pair it was because it got washed that day, and I forgot what it was so I could very well be wearing this shit underwear <laughs> right now. 
<laughs> and I'm in. And it's this was the exact same day I got let go of my job. <laughs> Such I a beautiful story. I hurt think... so bad. <laughs> oh my god, my chest. I hit my head on my desk. <laughs> oh my god. I'm crying. You're crying? Dude, I was laughing so hard. The, just the expression on your face. <laughs> when you said it. When you said that it, like you had farted one time and you thought you shit your pants, or no, you didn't think you shit your pants, you were just like, and the second time it was an explosion, I started losing my fucking mind, dude. I hurt. I don't, I have, dude, should we send this video to my previous employer? <laughs> just that clip. Be like, this is what you did to me. This is what happened. After I got you made me fired. shit my pants. You made me yeah. shit. It's because of their food. <laughs> I ate their food every day while I was on shift, and it was burgers, and the burger was greasy as fuck, and that's probably the reason I shit my pants. I mean, they are they do have some pretty bomb ass burgers though. They do. They are really fucking good, but Chester's yeah. is better. Oh, dude. I don't know if we talked about better? this, but me and uh, Jacob will occasionally just like once in a blue moon. It's occasionally every month or so. Yeah. We'll just work out together. And then and walk with to Chester's. Yeah, we'll walk to Chester's, get burgers, and just sit down and eat. Y'all should fucking bite me at some point. I feel like you would die. Yeah, well, you won't be able to I lift the weight we are. Like, we'll, we'll sit there, we'll put a fucking plate on, on bench and rep it. <laughs> and, then we'll so, to, and then we'll have to move the entire plate off and put on 13 pounds for Gavin to start benching so, it. So when we got there first, we were doing a uh, back that day, I think. No, the first day we went, we No, did yeah, legs. the first day was leg day. We did legs and then we walked like yeah, two miles to Chester's. Moving. Yeah. And then the next day that we did it, it was back. <laughs> we got there and uh, we were trying to find a workout station. We did, um, I think it was the shoulder press thing, right? For the first thing we did? Yeah. We did, uh... no, we did rows. Yeah, rows. Some guy, the one that I went on, he put it at, I think it was, what, 170? 170. 170, yeah. I didn't realize until Jacob pointed it out. Like, I was just doing this shit. He was like, are you at 170 right now? I was like, I did oh, a 170, yeah. and I was like, this is kind of hard. And then I was like, uh, I'll go 150, so it's hard, but I can still get at least <laughs> six reps in. Man, he was getting three reps at 170. I was watching him struggle. He was like, come on, one at more. At first. And I was like... like at first, I was doing it pretty well, and then, like, I started getting worn out. <laughs> it was so heavy. And I was still and, like... And that day, I was also, like, the day before, I was moving all my shit from my other room to my new room. Oh, yeah. So I was carrying desks, shelves, books, all my clothes, couches, my bed, everything to my room. <laughs> so I already got a decent workout before that. That's I was already pretty really sore. What the heck, Manny? What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but occasionally every month we just become a gay couple and work out together. Yeah. And just have dinner. <laughs> we should invite Gavin, but he's always busy with his woman. Yeah. Gross. Hey, you, you have cooties. Now you gotta blow him. You him. What? You want, you? <laughs> you want me to kiss you? I won't blow you. But I mean... He wants a blowy, though. I can't do that. That's your job. Stop. You crawl out of his walls every blue moon to just give him a quick little, quick little blowy. Yeah, I do. It's very erotic. Jacob, you okay? <laughs> just can't believe that you'd point out how me and Danny are gay together on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, I was watching right. Jean-Paul Gaultier. I got it for free. I Dude, spray it so every small. once in a while. I sniff it when I want to. F- when I want to. There's only it. one cologne I have, and it makes me smell like an old man. And I love it. <laughs> I hate all the. I hate colognes. They all smell like just burning alcohol. Okay. Rage has 36 views. Nice. It's, it's been a day. day. I was just looking at it. I was just looking at that video and looking at the. Uh, the. Uh, it's one of the. It's oh. It's one of our popular videos. Maybe we should play more Val. 
it has more views than the than the than the calamity video, which is just it was just sad, because that was really really funny. We should um, we should probably make not make we should probably do maybe we need to see how well a Fortnite video would do. <clears throat> Jacob, why did you turn off your camera? Oh, I did. Yeah. I didn't even re it just happens. I don't know why it does that. Um, but no, yeah, we should totally tr uh, do like a Fortnite video and another Valorant video. Dude, Valorant videos, I don't know. Because... Rage 2? Like, the game, I think it's just more of a once in a while thing, because... Dude, Valorant sucks so much dick. I understand, but here's the thing, whatever gets us the views, man. That is true. Would you rather, uh... I'd rather cost... like suffer and get views, because the more views, the more following, the more following, Gavin, the more... you're not the one suffering, then he is. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how many shit plays I had to see Jacob make? Fuck how much you! Play... Here's the <laughs> thing! Fuck you. Here's the thing, I'm <laughs> on Project Zomboid for videos. You know the amount of bot times I had to see you miss shots you should have made, Gavin, and you walking yeah. around like an absolute idiot? Yeah, not, he, he didn't know how to shift walk. That was a real thing. And, and Jacob, for some reason, pre-firing with the Guardian on a Yoru that was walking straight to him. <laughs> he misses completely. And then like, oh, he's right there. <laughs> and then gets stoned. <laughs> I hate you. You're getting 15 lashings today. Sorry, master. Sorry, master. 15 lashings. But I mean, compared to the video that will not be named because of how shit it did. Butterscotch. The butterscotch. <laughs> <laughs> it has been unlisted because of how dog water it is. It what did so bad. Have? Butterscotch. Soda. It was the Helldivers one. Mm. It did so bad. It took it too much just to get to 14 views. Yeah. It did so terribly. Compared to the Terraria and Val, those two short form content videos have done fucking wonders. Which I'm imp impressed with because Helldivers was popular when we uploaded that too. So it was either that, um,. The video just wasn't that entertaining, or it just wasn't that stimulating. Probably not stimulating. <laughs> yeah. My content is, is like a long form content when I edit, so. Oh god, I'm having hiccups. Why now? Oh god. <laughs> Dude, are you dying? Oh, they're so bad. <sighs> My whole entire diaphragm is like collapsing. <laughs> Dude, man, you're dying in front of us, and we're just sitting here laughing at you. Dude, whatever gets the views. <laughs> whatever, whatever gets the views. Me willing to die on camp for views, but not willing to play another round of Valorant. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I love it when you gag. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's hot. Okay. Ah. <sighs> All right, topics, topics. What can we talk about? One thing I do want to talk about is that the podcast is going to change a lot in the look and style of it, mainly just because I am getting better at editing with every video. I'm trying new things and stuff, so be warned that things are might change up quite a lot because I would like to experiment with the editing stuff. Yeah, Manny loves experimenting with his little hole. <sighs> you would know, huh? Of course I do. Yeah. It's still insane that my asshole's bigger than your dick. <laughs> I'm gonna buy you Futanari Defung Guy. And I'm gonna it's gonna forever be on your uh, on your Steam account. Okay, then I'll play for the jokes. Just like you did Spooky Milk Life. Cut that out. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> Do you think that like <clears throat> the world is like fucked. Yeah. Because yeah. of like the US elections that are gonna come up this year. I don't think it's just US elections. I think it's just like everyone's at each world. other's throat now. Yeah. Yeah. Like we 
We basically supported a war before it even happened. Yeah. We gave the people that are starting a war and that we also tried to stop or try to help with again, even though we were trying to protect that same place that started the war. <laughs> She's just so stupid. Yeah, I think, I really do think that Texas just, well, the United States should just stay out of other places. Yeah, should have listened to fucking George Washington. Then. Yeah, just let them be them. Let them have their own wars. There's no need to get involved, especially because we, are, we have one of the strongest military powers. We have like four of the five strongest air forces or something. We have a sane yeah. military. Yeah, our military is the strongest. Well, probably was. I don't know anymore. Just... No, it's still. Who's going to win? There. Who wins? Our military or the Romans? Or the what? Or the Romans. The Romans? Yeah. I mean, the Romans got taken down, so I mean. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. The Greeks. Yeah, I think Greeks had power, but no matter how strong you are, you always fall. Eventually. It just takes time. I mean, it, we're, the United States has been falling apart for a couple of years. <laughs> I'm not surprised if a civil war would happen. I'm also not surprised either. The fucking world has gone to shit. There's so many different parties now and so many different viewpoints going out. And everyone's trying their best to get their political stances out instead of having calm, chill debates and, you know, just talking about everything. Yeah. yeah. Which I know is a lot to ask for, but it's just if you want to get your point across and you want people to understand what you're trying to convey and get across, you need to say it in a way that they can understand and convey and not just be angry. You have to talk about these things with the respect and care it needs for people to truly understand them. Because if you don't and you just blurt it out, no one's going to give a shit. And, he, and even if you do do calm debates, yeah, people aren't going to care, but more people will be more inclined to listen to you because you are actually showing them a sign of respect to talk to them like a regular human, face to face, not yell, not raise, just debate, talk, have respect for the other mutual party, even if, you know, they don't you know, like you. Yeah. Just, and if you don't like them, even if you yeah. don't like them or they don't like you, you still should respect equal parties yeah you can't debate your own views and not respect the other people's views because then that's belittling them and they're not going to care for your views either belittling yeah belittling belittling diddling diddling it's just annoying do you think like religious views and politics are going to affect the future of like society and stuff religion has always affected the our state <laughs> Since since religion was founded, it's always ruled. Up until recently, religion has started to become less part of the government. But even then, religion will always have a place in government because of just how influential it is. You got to remember, too, religion was the government for the longest time. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so religion and politics are definitely the main things that will rule the world. I definitely think that the whole entire like companies rolling things will probably never happen. Mainly just because how influential religion is. Well, companies I mean, are ruling already, already in a way. Well, yeah, they have a hold on a lot of money. Yeah, well, in power. Having a lot of money ha is a lot of power and is a lot of everything. Yeah, I just don't think it'll get to the point of cyberpunk level esque of companies running everything. I don't. I don't know actually. Uh, I don't think I would. Nah. Genuine. By then we'll be out here in like in Switzerland or some shit living in the forest. <laughs> oh yeah, me and you. Yeah. Damn, where am I gonna be? I don't know, probably here talking with all the other gay people. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly think that the generation that we're gonna grow up in and the future that we have in store is gonna suck. I feel like a lot of things are gonna change and a lot of things are gonna change for the worst. Yeah. And honestly, yeah. I'm not very, I'm not very excited about it. Not at all, dude. This generation has ruined so many. Mo 
Like, so many memorials in, like, landmarks. It isn't fucking sane how disrespectful this generation has been to history. Like, it's understandable. A lot of the history is tragic. And has a... It's something that we need to remember. And these landmarks help represent what was and the mistakes that happened then. Destroying these marks and these histories aren't going to do anything but cause more anger for these people that are against these views that happened back then. Because a lot of it is mainly a lot of people trying to push their political views are destroying these landmarks. Political the more views. they do that... Huh? Sorry, political views are the reason like everything is falling. People want to like throw this entire thing out or just be like, I don't like this, so everyone shouldn't like this. You know, your opinions when pushing it onto other people, that's gonna hurt a lot of people too. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why people can't just like get over it and just like live their own lives. Because everyone wants their opinions to be heard. Well, who gives a shit? It doesn't matter. Uh, is, soft are... little babies. The thing is, I don't care if my opinion's heard. I just care if my opinion is, like, cared about. But I don't think opinions should be, like, cared about to the point where, like, I hate these people, so let's fuck them. We should get them out. Yeah. You should hate them, too. Yeah. Opinions are something that everyone should have, but not to the point where it's something that you would do anything to get across. The moment you are willing to injure, destroy, or cause any type of damage is the point you should evaluate yourself and really check yourself out. Because that is some mental shit. To be able to sit there and destroy and hurt people just for an agenda is stupid. And for the people that are heavily against a lot of this shit that happened in the past, you're basically doing what the churches did with the Crusades. You're hurting these people because they believe in something different than you. And you want them to believe in the things you do in the name of what your belief is. You're doing something that you would probably not believe in or even like. So to sit here and push these agendas and doing the things that you hate is hypocritical and insane. Oh, I'm just going through Twitter. I'm ma I'm still mad that this JJK chapter has only seven pages. <laughs> it's He's pissing me off so mad. It's, it's pissing me off so much. I waited a week, and this is like the biggest chapter ever because the biggest plot twist just got revealed. And it was seven pages. And then it goes on a mm. two-week break. Bro, Gege's trying to milk that shit. Fuck you, Gege. I'll... Fuck you, Gavin Newsom. Suck, Suck my dick. big fat balls. <laughs> Hope you know, Gavin, we, we only like that song because it has Gavin in it, mm -hmm. and we think about you every time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fuck you, Gavin. Suck my big fat balls. Yep. Mm -hmm. Suck my balls, Mr. Garrison. Suck my balls, Mr. Garrison. Uh. Anything else to talk about? Isn't it crazy that so Twitter is now officially allowing porn? Isn't it crazy that some bitch can pop her coochie on Twitter? This isn't a, this isn't like a like a diss to all the people that I know on Twitter who like post tits and, and pussy and stuff. You guys are awesome. But isn't it <laughs> crazy that a motherfucker can pop their pussy on Twitter, but I can't tell Elon Musk to blow his brains out? What the heck, man? I don't like why can't why is this man I love free speech? Why can't you let me tell some kid to kill himself, okay? Uh, because one is someone showing their clamshell and the other is a... Is a what? A threat. I'm not threatening him, I'm telling him he should. <laughs> <laughs> you better or I'm gonna do it. I, I actually <laughs> have threat. threatened to people on Twitter. I've, 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 I've said on Twitter, I've said, I'm gonna kill this guy with a rock. Yeah, that's just your go-to thing. And, and it doesn't, and it, and I, I don't get my, my post taken down, but when I look at someone, I say, kill yourself. I get my post taken down. Maybe it's just because it's that word, kill yourself. Fuck you, you Elon Musk, you stupid bitch. Suck oh. my balls, Elon Musk. Suck, Suck my them balls, real good. Elon Musk. Suck them real good. Mm. I'm oh. not going to be able to use it so Dude, much. I feel, I feel, I feel there's a pimple on on my eyebrows 
Ah, yeah, those suck. There's a pimple on my eyebrows. Especially because if it grows in the wrong place, there's a nerve around that area, so it suck dick. What? Yeah. You realize pimples can grow on your nerves, right? Because a lot of them grow on nerves. Did you not know that? No. Yeah, a lot of pimples grow on nerves. So that's why they that's why they usually tell you not to pick at them because you'd be picking at your nerve. Uh zoom out on my uh, The my number one the trending the thing in the recording. United States is Utah. Utah? Utah. Oh yeah, for that. Because of JJK two sixty two? What we can't talk about because Gavin isn't caught up. Yeah, can't which I'm not either. I've just been spoiled. believe Utah and Rika fight Sukuna and they start making out, and like yeah. because but the power of that true love, like causes them to like get like infinite curse energy. I can't believe Utah did that to Kenjaku though. Like that, that's insane. The the head game Kenjaku showed in that moment though was insane. Yeah, especially the the head game Kenjaku did show in the fight with uh, Choso is pretty crazy too. Yeah, pretty wild, man. <laughs> These are like actual. <laughs> 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 These are actual spoilers, by the way. So like, in the midst of it, yeah. <laughs> but you have no, but you have no idea what it what it means until you'll see it. Yeah. Head game means something, but you <laughs> you won't get it. <laughs> What? Oh, dude, why are there just random names trending on Twitter? Hold on, you ready? Yeah. A Jaw Wilson. Who the fuck is a Jaw Wilson? Jiao Kui. Jiao Kui. Yin Lin. Vivek. Yin Bin. Yin Bin. Ray J. Mason Miller. Rubio. Pen Dress. Mark Witten. We're not gonna talk about that. Shivas Garver. Dude, these are words. These are made up words. Trending Dude, that's why Twitter. I don't look at trending topics because it's always the most stupidest irrelevant things. On like news? Taylor Swift. On news, there's Juneteenth. Yeah, who the fuck's it's June 6th. Why is New Yorkers on the news? What are they doing? Are they biting people again? Dude, when are New when are not you Yorkers up to something? When weird? are not you Yorkers? When are not you Yorkers, yeah. Leave my broken English yeah. alone. English might have been my first language, my only language, but I still am shit at it. Lao Gamma. Dude, you should put that on your cock. For 100 subscribers, I'll <laughs> eat a spoonful of Lao Gamma and just upload it. Just me eating it. Turn it into a short? Yeah. <laughs> It'll be a short and a video. The bear eats chow lingua. Gavin, what's your Thank job you. been like? Huh? Gavin, what's your job been like? Like, what do you do there? Do you have any funny stories? I got you. Oh, at my work? Yes. Oh! I do have funny stories. Story time, motherfucker. Okay. Right. Basically. Basically? I'm sitting there. I'm He's at sitting my there. workplace. He's this, sitting there workplace. This, this story happened like a month ago or something. Bro's so. story happened a month ago. Shit's wild. Uh, We're adding ablibs to your the, story. Do you want me to tell the story for the podcast or not? Bro wants to tell a story for his podcast. <laughs> The look of defeat. Basically, this so then so I'm at my workplace, right? I work in a game area. Basically, I'm sitting there dealing with like I have to deal with kids all day, like stupid kids running around doing stupid shit. And I'm and I'm sitting there, and these these kids are roughhousing. I ask them to stop. They don't stop. They just they just keep going. Well, they stop for a second and walk away. Then the second that they don't see me, they start up again. So, and now they're bumping into other people, which is when I have a major problem because there's other people here trying to have fun. Are y'all paying attention? Yeah. I am. Kids bumping into each other and bumping into other people. And now they're bumping into other people. And now I have to raise my voice because they're doing what they're not supposed to. So I tell them to stop. Do your thing cut out, your camera's off. What? What? OBS. Is yeah, why is I it I know turn? why it's doing this. Why? OBS? No. Oh my god, he died. <laughs> yeah. Broke that cot. He was taken by the op. Can't believe they finally just, got him. I'm just gonna keep telling my story. Alright. Um, basically, 
this uh this 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 they keep broadcasting so i'm like y'all need to stop now and like i say yelled kind of but i mean i'm allowed to i run the area like i'm yeah. the manager yeah. of that area so why the fuck would i not tell them to stop louder because they're not listening so i walk away because i have other things that i need to do and, and i walk out of the game room i go talk to one of my other coworkers, see what's going on I think we were trying to figure out what lunch was going to be because we were going to leave for lunch. And now we're sitting here. I'm just like, what is happening for lunch? And so now we leave. I go to go back to the... Um, I go to leave to go back to the, the game area. And I see my coworker talking with an, an older black woman. Yes, the kids were black. I don't care. I'm mixed race. Sure. Which is hard to believe, but I'm mixed race. And so I'm sitting there and I'm like, what is happening? What what is and and my and I see the two boys that I yelled at and I'm like Do I wanna just turn around and walk out of the game room? She can't follow me. Because the hallway that I, the hallway that I came through was for employees only. <laughs> so if I just turn around and walk away. What is she gonna do? And so I, I I own up to it and I walk her back. I walk back to the uh to I walk up to her and she's like, Did you like did you yell at those two boys? And I was like, No. <laughs> I thought you just said you owned it up to it. I did, but I didn't yell at them. I raised my voice to them, yes, but I didn't yell. <laughs> Me yelling, these kids would be crying. Have you getting ever yelled at you, dude. Getting yelled at by you is like getting screamed at by a puppy. It's just kind of funny. Know where I work. It's just very funny to look at. Just stop. And so <laughs> I'm sitting there, and I'm like, I didn't yell at them. If I yelled at them, they probably come to, would have come to you crying. I did not yell at them, and they're like, then why are they coming up to me saying saying that you yelled at them? And I was like, I don't know, but I didn't yell at them. I raised my voice, yes, and she was like, so you yelled at them? And I was like, no, no, no. ma'am. There's a difference between me yelling at these kids and raising my voice at these kids. I didn't yell at them. I raised my voice. There is a major difference. And she's like, well, it doesn't matter. Where's your manager at? Let me talk to your manager. And I was like, he's not here right now. He should not. My dad, my dad has left. So my dad's hmm. my manager there. Oh, yeah. And by I was the way, like, nepotism. <laughs> grow up. And so I'm just, That's what did and you get so, for not get for not getting me my job there? I'm trying still. I'm still trying, I promise. I put that application in and then it never got viewed. Just keep just keep applying. I'm not gonna keep applying. That's like a like a toxic girl, like come come back, come back. That's like <laughs> <laughs> And so literally I'm sitting here and they're like, call him up then. Call him up. And I was like, No. Okay. Please. I grabbed my phone and this is before I had a privacy screen, so she could see everything that I was doing. And I pulled it up, and I pulled up the, the contact that says, Dad. And they're like, don't go call your daddy now. And I was like, you wanted me to call the manager, right? I'm trying. Don't get in my face again. Because she, like, did this number, like, in my face. And I'm like, I'm trying. Back up. So I call him, I'm like, hey, yeah. This lady saying I yelled at her kids. They were roughhousing, and, uh bumped into some people and she was like they want rough housing and i was like were you there no you're in a different room entirely so don't tell me what your kids were doing when i was doing in here and i was like yeah so their kids are rough housing bumping into other people like she's she's begging me at this point to apologize to her kids she was like my niece and nephew and i was like i don't care i don't care who they are to you <laughs> they, they go get their mother to come talk to me and uh, I'm sitting there, and my dad's like, you don't have to apologize if they were roughhousing in, in the wrong. You don't have to apologize for anything. I was like, thank you. All right. See you when I get home. What's for dinner? He was like, I'll tell you later. I was like, okay. Thank I hang you, up, dad. and she's like, and I was like, I actually don't have to apologize. These kids were in the wrong. Um, you can file in a report and that won't get looked at because I just talked to the GM. He does it. It's irrelevant. It's just, it's gonna get put in a in a shelf and never touched again. You could try though. Um, 
have a good day. And she was like, no, I'm not done with you. And I was like, okay. And then I walked away. <laughs> I just went and got food. Nice. nice. I almost got fired, actually, like a year in. What? I've been working there for three years. Yeah, I almost got fired. Um, There was this kid. So I got full permission from this kid's mom. This kid was on call with his best friend talking about their plans for later that night. But he was sitting behind one of the games. Behind the game. So the way the games are, they're against the wall, but like further away from the wall, just by a little bit. Mm -hmm. So there's like this much room in between the wall and the game. Because we have a bunch of cords running through behind them, and then there's a bunch of stuff behind it, right? This kid yeah. is sitting behind the games. And I come up, and this, this lady is like, my son, he's behind the game. He won't come out. Go get him. Say whatever you need. Do whatever you need. Just get him out from behind the game. And I was like, what do you, what do you mean, ma'am? Like, what do you mean he's behind the game? So now I'm annoyed. I'm already pissed. I had a shit day. My ex was yelling at me at the time. Stupid bitch. That's what I'm saying. Women, <laughs> am I right? Chromosomes. Well said, brother. Um, and so I'm sitting there. Guys, I like, respect women, by the way. It's no, you don't. No, yes, I do. Um, and so, but basically, I'm sitting there, and I go up to this kid, and I'm like, "What are you doing?" And he's like, "I'm on the phone with my friend." I'm like, I don't "Give a shit. Get the fuck out from behind my game." And he was like, "No, let me finish my call." And I was like, "I wasn't asking you. Get the fuck back from behind my game." And he was like, "God." such a hater and i was like i'm I'll gonna kick you, you with in the rocks. face i'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> kick you in the head like, like God, you're gonna go through that wall like, and this kid's mom was like thank you good us his, his, uh, his dad walked out on us he hasn't gotten very much discipline and i was like really you need a father i'm i'm looking to be one I'm so like <laughs> Shit. no i'm just kidding and so i literally was like uh he, he went up to his mom and was like, he's such a buzzkill. And she was like, get your ass to the car now. And I was like, you're like, you're turning me on, man. <laughs> Ma'am, I'll be his father. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm ready to step up. <laughs> if you're willing to be my wife. It just bugs and me how high quality your mic is now, man. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm literally sitting there, like, yelling at this kid. And then my dad comes up to me and was like, uh, your coworker told me that you busted a kid, and I was like, "Yeah." He's like, "I can fire you for that." I was like, "Not including this conversation. How would you know that I did that? Why would you take her word? She lied to you about everything. She lied to you about doing drugs in the back. Like, why would you believe her?" And he was like, "I would believe her because I know how you speak." And I was like, "That is true." Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, that is true. I would believe if someone came up to me and said Gavin just killed a kid. I'd be like, oh, that's just him. Because I, I just believe them. <laughs> like, if someone came up to you and said, Jacob just killed a guy with a rock, <laughs> you'd probably be like, eh, that's yeah. just him. That seems reasonable. That's reasonable. That's What, what were they doing? Yeah, my first question, if ever anyone came up to me, like, Mr. Uh, Mr. H, you know, murdered a family of eight with the rocks, I'd be like, what do they do? <laughs> well, they do deserve that. <laughs> do their kids play Valorant? <laughs> It's like because they probably deserved it if he went willing to beat them with rocks, dude. <laughs> do their kids play Valorant and do they have hack here's clients the on level, them? Here's the level of him killing people. Was his name Sogeen? If they don't, if they don't piss him <laughs> What's his if name Sogeen? If, if, uh, if they don't piss him off that much, they'll just shoot him. If they piss him off a little more, he'll beat him with his hands. So now if you just top of the notch, like, right on the devil's out. asshole. He'll, he'll beat you with a fucking rock. I'll yeah. kill you with rocks. <laughs> <laughs> on, on Twitter, I tweet. I tw on Twitter, on Twitter, Manny, edit this part in. Edit the screenshot in. On Twitter, I tweeted, "We should kill this guy with rocks." And someone, and someone replied, "I'm gonna start saying this more." And it's become like my brand because I'll sit there and I'll be like in games. I'll be like, "We should kill these guys with rocks." And then yeah. all my teammates will simultaneously be like, "Yeah, actually, I can kind of see doing that." Hey, here's the thing. I, and it's not like you're gonna kill him with big rocks. You're gonna like tie him up and throw pebbles at him till they pass away. No, I'm gonna get a rock that I can hold, like a soup can. Just... <laughs> I'm just saying, man, you would be a hey, great Trump? emperor. 
one slump of that Donald Trump interview where he was like, Throw a brick, it's too heavy. But a can of soup, you can really put some power into that, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> I love the edit where he just gets punted with. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, yeah, I'm just saying, Jacob would make a great omen, uh, a great Roman emperor. He would have yeah, such good punishment. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you yeah. Want, do you want the bronze <laughs> bull or do you want the rock treatment? Oh my, death by million rocks. And you That's a called stoning. <laughs> That's called stoning, you dumb bitch. It's an actual uh, execution method. I know. <laughs> Jacob, she's like... Rainstorm! Domain Motherfucker, expansion. I cast Rainstorm! Domain yeah, bro expansion. goes up to his- Unlimited Bro stands up rocks. at his- uh, <laughs> Bro stands up at his chair. Domain expansion. Domain Infinite rocks. Expansion. And then it's just- It's just like that, a million rocks just pelt him. That's your domain expansion, dude. It's rocks. just- <laughs> It's domain just murdering them with rocks. Million rocks. <laughs> and then this sure hit is every single rock that falls, no matter how heavy, will hit them. It's just like, there's nothing special about the rocks. It's just that your cursed technique makes them the equivalent of a peasant. <laughs> In strength. So they just get pummeled to death by Wait, it. so my curse, te my curse technique is like nullifying their cursed energy. Yeah, and it's just regular rocks beating them. To and death. so they just become a human, and then my domain is just just throwing a shit ton of rocks at people. Yeah. <laughs> Must have pissed me <laughs> off, man. I if you, can, if I you can stutter try. and fuck it up, banned. <laughs> Bruh. Welcome, or not welcome. Fuck. <laughs> I hate you guys. Now you make me stutter, you stupid fuck. Thank you for listening to the Short Must Kiss podcast. We'll have another episode out eventually. Why are you just staring? <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. <laughs>